did it! We will get this to our doctors right away. In the meantime, my father wishes to see you. Follow me. following me? Why you saved my life? You had errands only my rig could run? I watched you because I learned from what I see. I saved you so that you would not die. Great. You've got the saying nothing thing down pat, you know that? Listen, princess. Wait, are you really a princess? Is your father the king? We have no kings. He leads only in that he leads. Down pat. I mean... It is he who led the Forgotten to safety, taught us to survive. He calmed the Great Frenzy and learned how to harvest this planet's nectar without causing another. Yeah, again with the nectar. That's a ridiculous word, by the way. It is apt. I'm sorry if it troubles you. Yeah, I'll get over it. The Forgotten is nice, though. Whoa, what's up? A breach. Were you followed? Followed by who? This way. ahead of me. I will provide support from the parapet.
skilled shot, stranger. We are in your debt. Unusual behavior for that species. They are normally only aggressive when attacked. Jim, my father awaits. A man of honor and a Nevik uniform. A true paradox. You hate them like you know them well. You were Nevik too once. Long ago, I was. We came here from Earth as you did. Come to tame the wilds, rendering fire from ice. We were unprepared. Look, Chief, I don't claim to know what you've been through, but I know the odds you're up against. You're not wrong that we're here for a reason, but it's not to bring you harm, I swear. Let me help. Let me talk to my boss, Braddock. Silence! hand extends. They beckon. Come in from the cold. Long have we waited. When they fled to ships and flew away, I was certain they would return. If we could just last a week, surely they would come back for us. Persevere for a month. No doubt our rescue would if only we could survive a year, or five, or ten, or thirty-six! For two generations, we survived without their compassion. Invisible, cheating death. And finally, you would lead them to our door. Assurances of safety. <laughs> Trust. Do not be discouraged, Jim. It is much to ask of him, and we have only just begun our work. Please, enjoy the hospitality of our camp, such as it is. You may find some things you need, and it is good for our people to see you are a friend. When you are ready, meet me outside the camp gates.
Soichi is the only reason we were able to survive in the waste for 40 years. His guidance, his presence of mind, his discovery of the purity energy. Without him, we would be nothing. He's old. His ideas are old. I don't deny we owe our existence to him, but his time has passed. It's time for new leadership. Who would you suggest? Mira. Don't be ridiculous. Mira is a child. Wise beyond her years. This is why the Snowborn are not part of the Elder Council. Oh, wisdom is wasted on the old. Just ask him. Uh, what? Mister. I love to talk shop sometime. My name's Kraft, Chief Mechanic. Mostly I keep all the skiffs running. Your, your pal Mira practically keeps me in business. All the wear and tear she puts on them running off to wherever. It's not like they grow on trees. And even if they did, huh? I mean, you see any trees? Most elders don't speak of the Earth much anymore, but I remember it well. You must tell me what it's like now. I, I have so many questions. Did the Cubs ever win the World Series? Um, sure they did. Damn. I hate the Cubs. Look at today, but we've got a pretty docile fleet of domesticated acrid. Took some doing, and I have the scars to prove it. But they were stable right up until that incident earlier. Could hardly calm them down after that. Had to sedate the whole pack. I just hope they sleep it off. You. I'm Francesca Vittorti. I manage the school. Do you have children? I do. Baby boy back home. Then I will not need to explain to you. The children are our animating force, our hope, our reason to persevere. We try to cultivate each one, show them our ways, teach them our skills. Not just to count and to read, but to survive in this place of all places. I hope you are able to get back to your family soon, Jim. They call us elders, those of us who came from Earth. I know we don't look our age. Some think the exposure to all this tea energy keeps one young and strong. Others think the cold temperature preserves you. As for the young ones, the snowborn, they have no idea what an 80-year-old is supposed to look like.
How are you enjoying our city of spare parts? Everything you see here was scavenged from one abandoned colony installation or another and refashioned for our use. Didn't happen overnight, either. I've run the metal workshop for nearly 30 years. You can't throw a stone without hitting some piece of my handiwork. Uh, don't, though. Throw stones in here, I mean. That would be obnoxious. Quartermaster. Long time since I had that title. If it's supplies you need, I can sell you some. That dirty tea energy you carry isn't worth too much to us, but I can find uses for it. I'll tell you what, since you've already helped by opening that vase, I'll make it a generous exchange rate. your help putting down that intruder before. Not every day one gets crazy enough to barrel through the gates like that. <laughs> Normally when I hear such sounds of discord in Bedlam, it's just Mira playing with her explosives again. Always blowing up some part of camp and answering in nobody for it. It's a wonder she hasn't killed anyone yet.
probably wondering how an acrid butcher makes a living, huh? Bet everyone you've killed just shattered into goo, am I right? That's due to having tea energy for blood. But I have a technique that puts them down with electricity. If you can let the body cool down gradually, no spillage becomes like any other carcass. You skin it, boil it, tan it, carve yourself off a nice steak. The best part is, it doesn't this damn thing like chicken. Word has it you're a master acrid fighter. We should trade tales of battle. I am Suzatska, first ranger of the Forgotten. I lead the hunting parties. We employ techniques, non-lethal and otherwise. And you well know what creativity is required to prevail. You've seen some variety of acrid, I'm sure, but I believe we've but seen a fraction of what walks this world. Beyond the horizon, who knows what wonders and horrors we might find. champion patrolling the planes in some giant robot? I don't know where to begin correcting you, but I'm Jim. But it's true, you're a man known to take a quest in search of your fortune? I'm a freelance contractor. So, yeah, I guess I am. Excellent. I'm conducting an ethological study of the albino Tarka of Edian 3. No doubt you've heard of them. As rare and elusive a creature as walks this world of ours. I'm pretty sure I've never seen anything like that. Exactly. That's how you know they're real. That and the telltale sound of their mating call. I've isolated the exact frequency. When played back, it will mesmerize them long enough to collect a DNA sample. The trick is finding them, for they blend seamlessly into their surroundings, and you will hear them long before you see them. If you provide me with their DNA samples, I will share teachings that will enhance your abilities. the mating call frequency to the sound output of your wrist computer, which it will constantly broadcast. Oh, don't worry. Humans can't hear it. Oh, like a dog whistle. Sure. What's a dog? The albino Tarka are scattered across the whole planet, so if you keep your ears open, you're bound to run into one. Happy hunting!
In order to repay your life debt, one task remains. There is another installation from the first colony, closed to us, but your machine may breach it. There are resources there we can use, supplies and weapons. Whoa, weapons? It's a little intense for a first date, don't you think? One does not arm one's enemy. My father does not believe you will help us. This will convince him you mean no harm. I'll be back before supper.
everyone on this planet either locked or out of power. Welcome to Security Station Zebra. Non-personnel are required to sign in at the Operations Center on Floor 4.
lockdown overridden. Let's see what that did. Main floor elevator online.
Armory seals disengaged. The armory's open. That should be enough for them. Armory's open. That should be enough for them. The armory is open. That should be enough for them.
Still got it, Peyton. Main doors back online. It's done. The armory is open. Try not to make me regret arming you to the teeth. Jim, I do not know what to say. You have repaid your life debt a hundredfold. Please accept this inadequate gift of thanks. It is a magnetic upgrade to your grappling hook, allowing you to connect to select magnetized metal objects. It will give you access to previously inaccessible areas. I found it invaluable in my first colony explorations. 
Thanks. I can see that coming in handy. There is a magnetized plate nearby if you would like to test it out. There is even something there you might find valuable. Also, my father is in that area tending the greenhouse. He desires to speak with you. Will do, Mira. Turning back now. I drew him out, and I let him glimpse me at the relay station. If fortune favors my enterprise, his curiosity will lead him to the truth. After that, I can only hope he is the man of honor I take him for. You have done much good for Mira, for my people. But now I must ask for your indulgence. If you would aid an old man needful of closure, in the buried past, amidst the chaos of frenzy, many friends were lost, some known, but others, fates were unaccounted for, mysteries that haunt me, unanswered questions, inaccessible answers. Go where I may not. Uncover what you can of four colonists. Set my mind at rest, and faithfully, I will share great teachings with you. Ready to return to your base, meet me outside our camp, and I will show you home.
Uh, sorry, it's a little cramped in here. <laughs> Wasn't really meant for passengers. I'm trying not to make this awkward. Nope. Pardon me. Uh, comfortable? Um, it will suffice. Head that way, back towards the lava. I like your collections. I didn't realize you shared my hobby. Oh, just some bric-a-brac to remind me of home. Who is she? Oh, uh, that's my wife, Grace. Let her know I'm okay is pretty much job one right now. She's... so beautiful. I didn't realize you had a wife. Ten years and counting. I had a baby boy a year ago. God, it's been a year. And you left her to come here? I came here for her. Her and Hank. Things were getting harder and there was an opportunity I couldn't turn down. I see. Jim, I know you are a man of honor and great loyalty, so it pains me to ask this of you. But you must not tell the men of Nevik about us. You must not tell anyone we're here. Are you serious? How am I supposed to make a place for your people if nobody knows you exist? You don't know the risks I have taken just in trusting you. I can see your nature, but Nevik... If the Corporation learns their lost colony had survivors after all the pains they took to keep it secret, they would start asking questions, demanding answers. And sooner or later, they will come to take what they think is theirs. Look, I know not everybody has the nicest things to say about Nevik, but Braddock's a good man. I trust him. You do? And he trusts you? I think he does. Then, why did he lie to you about the first colony? Oh. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. Until you know? Until you would stake the lives of your family on his loyalties? I ask only that you do not stake the lives of mine. it on your map. Soon you'll be back in radio range. There is one last thing. Our water purifiers are almost 50 years old. If you can locate a replacement for the one I left in your cockpit, it would be another small step. That and I would be grateful. C4 explosives for the win. Okay, this looks familiar. I'd have heard from you by now. Maybe you didn't get my last message? With Hank and the walking? And yes, I realize you can't answer me. Just answer me, okay?
All units, this is Coronis. We are under attack by Acred Swarm. Large quantities need backup. Does anyone copy? Over. Coronis, roger that. Flying to assist. Be there ASAP. Holy cow, Jim, is that you? I don't know how you're alive, but we need you, brother. Hurry, Coronis out. Flyers coming in from the interior canyon. Markham, can you assist? No can do. We've got our own problems in the rack area. Hutchings, can you assist in the deck area? Hutchings? Anybody? It's Jim. The cavalry's arrived. Yes, Jim! Kick him in the ass! 